all of the COVID-19 cases inside nursing homes can scare many of us who have loved ones inside of those facilities. So we all want to know what is being done to stop this. Action 7 News reporter Brittany Hope joins us with some answers. About 40% of the nursing homes in our state have had an employee or resident test positive for COVID-19. Now several groups are working together to be sure no more facilities are added to that list. Dozens infected, 18 people dead, just at one Albuquerque assisted living facility, all because of COVID-19. Now the city doesn't want to see an outbreak like this again. There's been a big collaborative effort um, and kind of a, a whole of government, if you will, to really uh, address these high risk populations and do everything we can to help prevent um, and help uh, the staff understand what they need to be doing to help um, decrease the spread of COVID. So fire departments, health inspectors and state leaders have formed a task force. Their mission, inspect these facilities. We only make recommendations, so we're not forcing anybody to do that. So far, the task force has checked 12 facilities in the metropolitan area. We're putting on and taking off of their protective equipment, making sure they know how to do that appropriately. Know where in their facilities they need to be wearing each of those different pieces. Proper hygiene and what that looks like. Ensuring that they're following those CDC guidelines. The task force is being run by the city of Albuquerque, but they are making a statewide effort. Last week, they trained emergency responders in Gallup to do inspections and next week they head to Farmington. The city says they have been pleased with the cooperation and the facilities have implemented nearly all of their recommendations. Shelby. Thanks, Brittany. And as of right now, facilities that have called for an inspection have not had a single case. Absolutely.